Adex Alcopia, Polar Coordinates, Polar Coordinates. Previously, you have used Cartesian coordinates of the form x, y as a way of fixing the position of points in space. However, there are other systems which can be used. In these videos, we're going to be using polar coordinates as a way of fixing points in space. And these are based on the distance from a fixed point or the origin and the angle made from a fixed initial line. So, for example, here, if I choose the point 3, 2, so they are the Cartesian coordinates, 3, 2, we're now going to define that point in terms of its distance from the origin, which we usually refer to as R, and the angle made with this axis, theta. So the origin, the point we measure the distance from, is called the pole, and the OX axis, which is the line we measure the angle from, is called the initial line. So now we can talk about a point P, which has polar coordinates R theta. It's always R before the distance R before the angle theta. R is the distance from the pole, and theta is defined as the anticlockwise angle from the initial line. So, for example, we can talk about the point P, which is defined by four units from the pole and a direction of pi by six from the initial line. So, a direction of pi by six from the initial line is along this dashed line, and we need to be four units from the pole. So, that is the point P defined by four pi by six. And it's using polar coordinates which allows us to represent quite complicated curves in a more simple form if we rely on polar coordinates. So here we have three polar points defined in terms of distance from the origin, which must be positive, and an angle from the initial line. So this first one is three units from the origin and its direction is pi by 2. It's quite useful sometimes to think about these angles in degrees in your head. So the direction is 90 degrees, and we've got to go three units away. So that point there is the point 3 pi by 2. This point is five units away, and the direction is 5 pi by 6. So pi by 6 would be 30 degrees, so 5 pi by 6 is 150 degrees, which means we're on this dotted line here, and the distance is 5 units from the pole. So that point there is the point 5, 5 pi by 6. So if we put the line on, we can see there's the angle. 5 pi by 6, and there's the distance 5. We need to be careful with this last one. The distance is 2 units, but the direction is minus pi by 3, which means that we're going clockwise from the initial line. So pi by 3, that's uh, 60 degrees, so we're looking at a negative 60 degrees, which means we're on this dotted line and we need to be two units from the origin. So there's our angle of minus pi by 3 and two units from the origin define that point 2 comma minus pi by 3. In the next video we're going to be looking at sketching polar curves.